This week we have a special guest star, Ginger. Ginger, tell us, what is so important about bats, especially this week, the week of Halloween? Uh, bats are always associated with the holidays, so uh, they have designated the week leading up to Halloween as Bat Appreciation Week because, you know, the decorations and the, the what we associate bats with as being scary is really not what they are. So they don't look like this? No. They don't necessarily look like this either, but they're much more on this side than they are on that side. So why are bats more like this and less like this? Because they're not mean. They're actually very gentle animals. They're very beneficial. They are actually good mothers. Uh, and uh, they do a lot of good for us. What kinds of good things do they do? Well, they, for one, like the bees that you have been promoting so much, bats are also pollinators. In fact, some of the most uh, important crops that we appreciate are pollinated by bats. So you're saying bats are pollinators. Mm -hmm. What kinds of crops might they pollinate? Uh, bananas and peaches for one thing. Um, they're also seed dispersers for such uh, things as avocados, mm -hmm. dates, figs, cashews. And they also pollinate uh, lots of species of plants that you find in the tropical rainforest. They're also speed dis seed dispersers, which means that uh, the fruit bats when they eat fruit, their droppings land on the ground and they regenerate the rainforest mm. and repopulate them with the fruit trees. So they're also essential species. Seed dispersers, that's very hard to say, uh, as well as pollinators. What is their bat poop called? Guano. And isn't it like a fertilizer? Very, very good fertilizer and it's uh, considered quite uh, a valuable asset. It's actually mined like they do with you know any other natural resource, and uh, it's excellent. For they fertilizer. mine. They what? mine bat poop, yeah. <laughs> and every night they go out and eat tons, and I'm not kidding. T with a ton, T with a yeah, with a capital T, tons of insects every night. Wow. So uh, natural pesticide. That is the other benefit of bats is that they are natural. Pesticide. Okay, so bats are really good for pollinating and they're also good at pest control. And seed dispersers. And, <laughs> seed, dis <laughs> and seed dispersers. So, are there any things that we can do to help bats? Uh, bats are in a lot of trouble. Um, there is this uh, fungus, uh -huh. it's called white nose syndrome, and what it does is it uh, forms on their little noses when they're hiber hibernating. Mm -hmm. And what it does is it causes them to wake up. Oh. And what happens is, is that when they wake up from their hibernation, they use up all their fat stores, oh. and they die of starvation. Oh, and wow. it started up north, it is coming down this way. I don't know if it's going to affect our bats or not, because our bats are more warm weather bats. Mm -hmm. But it's affecting uh, the species up north first, and it is coming down. Right. And it's, it's deadly. But they are coming, they are working on... Uh, a cure. Oh good. Uh, but one of the ways that you can help bats is to donate to organizations like Bats Bat Conservation International, which is based in Austin. Okay. And uh, that money goes towards research uh, to help fight this fungus. Another problem is is that well just education. Mm -hmm. More people need to know that bats are not out to get you. Mm -hmm. They don't get tangled in your hair. Mm -hmm. They are very beneficial to us. Did you know that bats save farmers 3.7 billion with a B dollars every year in pest control. Billion with a B? Billion with a B. Ooh, that's excellent. Yeah. And out of the 47 species of bats that are native to the United States, Texas has 31. Wow. So that means Texas is bat blessed. Great. Are there things people can do to help bats like locally? Yes, if you find um, bats lying on the ground, of course, don't touch them. I mean, rabies is a concern. Very, <laughs> very small amount of bats have rabies. Mm. And really, the only way you're going to get it from a bat is if you touch them. You know, okay. They're on the ground if they're sick and you touch them. But not all bats that are on the ground are sick. Mm -hmm. uh, they could have been attacked by birds. Birds will attack them. Uh, they could be starving. They might not have enough to eat. They could be cold shocked, just like turtles. Mm -hmm. When they hit that cold water and it shocks them, well, some, sometimes bats will fly through cold air and it will shock them. And wow. uh, sometimes bats just get in places where they really are not safe. Okay. And um, there are organizations that you can call, okay. and they will send somebody out to rescue them, rehabilitate them, and turn them back loose when they can go eat those West Nile sneaking yeah. mosquitoes and. <laughs> 
Uh, yeah. yeah. What are some of the, do you know any of those? Yeah, there's a, a local organization called Bat World Sanctuary, and you can go on their website, and they have a search engine. You can type in uh, your address, Excellent. and they will give you a list of people who are local who will come out and rescue bats and take care of them. So this Halloween, go batty for bats. I'm Jason Winningham. I'm Ginger Llewellyn. And this has been your Green, Green Tip, Tip of the, of the Week. week.